What's your reason for going so fast? For real. I don't get it. I don't get it. A deputy who hit and killed a teen was speeding. That is according to the sheriff, who is now asking people to give that deputy the benefit of the doubt. Welcome to Nightside. I'm Katie McCall. And I'm Carolina Lead. The crash happened on Florida Avenue and 124th Avenue in Tampa a week and a half ago. The sheriff says an undercover deputy in an unmarked car swerved to avoid one kid crossing the street and hit another. I'm with Nightside's Grady Trimble. And Grady, this is the first time today that we're hearing from the sheriff. And he answered some big questions about this crash. First, he identified the deputy. His name is Philip Montesi. The sheriff also says Montesi was going 21 miles per hour over the speed limit, 66 in a 45. He also reiterated the deputy did have a green light and the two boys were crossing the street and they weren't in a crosswalk. The, these answers aren't enough for the people who are calling for justice. It hurts. And I keep having like flashbacks to it. <sighs> Damien Foster says he watched his best friend's final moments. He was crossing the road when an undercover deputy swerved to miss him and hit 15 year old Josiah Pinner. I feel so guilty knowing I'm with my baby every day. Foster and his mom are among the dozens calling for justice for Pinner. Protesters marched in the streets Thursday night, and now they're hearing from Sheriff Chad Cronister for the first time. I, I don't think we could apologize enough for the loss of their son's life. Cronister only released a few details about the crash because it's still under investigation. He did admit he's concerned Deputy Philip Montesi was speeding. Anyone who exceeds the speed limit better have uh, a, a very justifiable reason of why they're doing that. Cronister also says the deputy kept driving after the crash, then turned around and went back. Why were you going so fast? Why did you not stop for this baby? The sheriff revealed Deputy Montesi has been in three other crashes since he started in 2013, but he wasn't at fault. This time, Foster's mom tells me she thinks he should be fired. I want justice for Josiah. That's the main thing that I want right now. Could still be disciplined or even charged. The department, again, is still investigating the crash. It could last more than a month. The sheriff asks people to be patient and trust their investigation.